Hey everyone, it's Aaron from the Lifecycle Management Team. Today we're gonna to talk about a new Help Desk Admin role that's now in EA, and this can help you with your uh, administrative capabilities within Okta. So before this role came about, if you wanted your Help Desk Admins to be able to service your end users, to be able to do things like reset a password, reset MFA, clear a locked out user, or clear a, maybe a user session, you would have had to grant them maybe unnecessary permissions using, let's say, the org admin. Um, and a lot of customers came back to us and said, hey, can you scope it down for us? So indeed, that's what we did. We rolled out this new help desk admin role, which reduces the things that they can do on an Okta user. So they can just do those normal help desk administrative functions that I mentioned earlier. Um, you'll also notice that with the help desk admin role, the number of tabs that the help desk admin can see will shrink down. So they, for instance, won't be able to now look at the directories or the applications. Um, this feature can be combined with other roles. So for instance, if you still want the help desk admin role to be able to see uh, the syslog so they can help troubleshoot, you can combine the read-only admin plus the help desk admin role. So enough from me, I'm gonna turn it over to Colin for a demonstration. Colin, take it away, please. Thanks, Aaron. We're now gonna take a deeper look at the help desk admin role. The help desk administrator can perform common help desk actions. This role has a reduced set of permissions and promotes good security practices by not granting unnecessary permissions to help desk personnel. You cannot selectively assign permissions to the help desk administrator role. Instead, it has these fixed permissions. Reset password, reset multi-factor authentication, clear user session, and finally view user profiles. Only users in the groups to which the admin has been assigned. Only super org administrators may assign the help desk administrator role to a user and optionally apply a group scope. We're gonna go ahead and click add administrator and we're gonna type a name into the grant administrator role to field. We've picked Darren and we're gonna select the help desk administrator role. And finally, we're gonna choose the radio button can administer user in specific groups. In that next box, type in the group name of the Okta groups the admin will control. We're gonna go ahead and type sales. Please note that only Okta groups will appear. We're gonna go ahead and click add administrator. And we're gonna go ahead and sign out. And we're gonna log back in as Darren, who has recently been granted the help desk administrator role by a super org admin. Once the credentials are accepted, we're gonna to go to directory people and select a user account. To reset a user's password, click reset password. We're gonna click reset password link. And finally, if you want to perform any of the other options, click more actions. And that about wraps it up uh, with regards to the help desk admin role. I'm gonna throw it back to you, Aaron. Thanks for the demo, Colin. I want to talk about some best practices now. Um, as I mentioned prior to the demo, if you have a help desk admin who needs to be able to read the syslog, you have to combine the uh, help desk admin role plus the read-only admin role. However, the read-only admin role allows you to see all of Okta. So it allows you to see uh, app setups, it allows you to see directories and maybe even MFA policies. For some organizations, that's okay. But for others, they want to limit the view of that data. We're working out a, a new uh, role. It's potentially called the reporting role, which will only show the syslog. Uh, and that will help, the, uh, help you with those use cases if you want to just limit what the help desk admin can see. If you have further feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know, and we'll put you in touch with the product manager. Thank you. Mm -hmm.